Princess Disney Girl back for another Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. So today I'm going to be welcoming Ernesto de la Cruz into the kingdom. Yes, so make sure you guys watch all the way to the end in order to see his welcome screen and all of his new dialogue. But first, we have to bring back Dante into the kingdom, who was leveling up. So this is his welcome screen with obviously the Halloween decorations that were included in update 34. So Dante is now level 2. Arf, arf, arf. <laughs> His bark maybe was a little weak there, uh, a little bit more like a puppy bark, but oh well, I guess his bark isn't uh, as strong as his bite today. Speaking of bite, um, he is going to have a little bit of an encounter with, yes, Mama Imelda. I don't know why we have dialogue with them yet, but okay. Arf, arf. Well, you're gone all this time, and you come back with nothing? And smelling like a pumpkin patch, too? A pumpkin patch? Oh my gosh, where was he in the kingdom? <laughs> I told you to find a spirit animal, not dig around in somebody's back garden. <sighs> what did I even ask you for anyway? I don't think she's impressed with Dante. I guess that's to be expected. I don't know. I thought she would have had a little bit more respect for Dante considering she is sort of like a spirit animal, you know? He, he is. Realistically, he is. Uh, just not all the time. I do wish, though, that... Sorry, I know, guys, I'm going on a rant here, but Dante um, actually did have his, like, Alibriguez look. It would be really, really cool. Quest complete. Go, Zolo, go. Huh? He's confused. Very confused, as he should be. I don't think Mama emailed I was very impressed. Oh, well. Speaking of being impressed, I don't think Cobra Bubbles there is too impressed with Nani. Just saying. But I love that I got most of the, the Lilo and Stitch characters here doing their animations together. So cool. Scuttle, I don't know what he's doing there, but uh, he's snarf-blotting <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so uh, today's calendar reward, guys, is a magical chest. So make sure you guys log into your game to claim the magical chest. Now, it does include character tokens for the characters that you have unlocked for the Coco limited time event, which is, guys, why the kingdom looks a little different right now and why we're collecting weird currency and all of that kind of stuff because the Coco limited time event is going on so when we get magical chests here that means there is an event or a tower challenge um, but uh, this time it is a limited time event so I'm kind of interested to see if I do get any Ernesto de la Cruz uh, character tokens that would be very helpful I think at this point yeah cuz I still need a few more in order to bring him in so, yeah, let's see what is inside this magical chest. Let me know, though, in the comments below what you got in your free magical chest today that was in the calendar. Oh, always nervous, always nervous with magical chests, especially when you know you want something. All right, here we go, guys. Enough waiting. I just get so nervous with these chests. Probably for no reason. Okay, so we got five musical poster tokens, Dante's snack token, so this will be useful for leveling him up again, and Miguel Rivera's ears hat token. Oh, not too useful for Ernesto. Uh, all right, all right, well, um, yeah, guys, not the best, but we have to make do, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. Brutal, absolutely brutal. Oh, but Dante, thank you, Dante. He did get uh, an Ernesto de la Cruz ears hat. Actually, the character tokens for this event so far have been pretty detailed. I think really the only one that's like not really that detailed is the actual um, uh, currency for the event. Like, it's just a disc, like a record, I guess we call it, from the old times, and yeah. I don't know, I think that's kind of a little bit uneventful, but I mean, it is obvious to see just because it has a, the black, right? So I find it is kind of obvious when you're tapping from characters like that you know it's it. Um, now I do have some secondary storyline dialogue here with the Mad Hatter, so we did that, uh, the start of it in the live stream yesterday. All right, here we go. 
Ah, there's nothing like a cup of tea, or four tea, to help Hatter remember whether he knows how to play croquet or not. And there's everything like a cup of tea, or AD, <laughs> to remember that he can just get that dear girl to play croquet for him. Of course, <laughs> of course, I don't remember how many cups of tea I did have. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> he's too much. Quest complete, sign him up. But, ah, I'm sure statistics will prove that it was at least 80. At least 80. Oh my goodness, guys. He must be so hyper right now. So hyper. Oh, okay, the March Hare now. I say, old fellow, do you remember that dear girl who took her unbirthday tea with us once? You mean to say the dear girl who liked our singing? Who didn't know what an unbirthday was? Who told us the story about Dinah? <laughs> why, why, yes! That's exactly the dear girl that I did mean to say. Alice? She does have a name. <laughs> well, what a fortuitous coincidence. I was just going to say that I don't remember any such girl at all. <laughs> okay, but you remember Dinah. Uh, what did you expect? Question mark. Send the hare and the hatter to get distracted. Well, that's not difficult. <laughs> yes, it is not difficult at all. Okay, so... Yeah, unfortunately, March Hare is busy at the moment. He will be going, obviously, on that quest when he's done. So that'll be for the next video or live stream that I do. But, uh, obviously, guys, we've got those pinatas kind of strolling around the kingdom. Please, please make sure that you tap them whenever you log into your kingdom. They respawn every two hours, which is fantastic. If you guys want to skip the process, though, and you want to gem your way through to get some extra ones, um, they are, like, it would be eight gems to skip the two-hour quest there. Uh, that would go for any two-hour quest with characters, obviously, but just so you guys know, you do have that option if you're feeling like you're a little bit short, or... Or you can just open a magical chest and uh, gamble a little bit to see if you do manage to get any in there. I mean, I have, like, every time I opened it, or at least them, I guess it is now, not just one. I did open only one today, but I did open a bunch of them yesterday um, when we got the parade float. Which, unfortunately, I don't think I have a, um, a clip of that for the video right now. But um, I will try and make sure I include it in the next one or in the or uh, sorry in the next live stream. The parade float though is cooling down right now, so yeah, we kind of have to wait for it. I wish the cooldown wasn't so long. Yeah, or at least maybe not when it's like an event like this. I just feel like we need it. You know, um, but I did send it out yesterday. I just wanted to let you guys know with the parade float. So I sent it out yesterday um, when I was doing the stream, and then when it was done and I collected from it, I didn't like record a clip of it. But I didn't actually get anything from it. Like I didn't get any currency, and I didn't get any character tokens. And usually I really like the parade float, and I used to always say like invest in it. But the first drop, at least of it, was not great. Not great. So yeah. Um, I don't know if it was just really bad luck or what happened. Usually you get like at least maybe a little bit of currency or something, even if it's not a character token, but it's supposed to drop an uncommon character token right now. So it should be doing that, but yeah. Oh well, I guess it's fine. Oh my gosh, Forky's so cute. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so cute. I'm kind of just following characters along right now, guys. You might be laughing at me, but I'm following them along. And then when it gets to another character, I'm clicking another character I see there to do another quest. Um, I don't know. I thought this would be a little bit funner to send characters out on a couple of quests here when we actually get to kind of follow them and then find somebody else along the way. So like, okay, there's Ralph now. Um, okay, one of the quests I really like for him is uh, the I'm Gonna Wreck It one. 
There we go. I mean, I'm not a fan that he's busting up my kingdom, <laughs> but I do like the quest. It is really cool. Um, oh, come on, Ralph, turn around. He really doesn't want to. Apparently, there's construction going all around uh, the Lucky Cat Cafe there. Yeah. Oh, and apparently... Oh my gosh, look at that creepy shadow hand. Apparently, Ralph isn't liking uh, Dr. Facilier's voodoo emporium there. Nope. <gasps> yeah, a lot of construction around this area of the kingdom, I think. I think Ralph is uh, making a road. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. All right, th he has the best 24-hour quest. Well, not the best, but one of the best. Mind you, it's very difficult to follow along. Uh, with him, I find he moves so quickly. The coders for this definitely made sure he was like on double time speed for sure. He's like the only one in the kingdom that moves that fast. And like so, like he, I would almost say glitches, but it's not. It's just more, he's just like, I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. Like he's just literally turning all the time. And again, makes it very difficult to show um, as a video clip, but yeah, sometimes I get lucky and I do get a good shot of it. I'm always trying to do that these days just because he's maxed out and there's not like, he's just collecting magic. So sometimes those characters, I like to just send them out on their 24 hour quest. If it's like a cool animation or like something like that, or I'm trying to capture an image of a clip here. All right, so I'm bringing back the caterpillar now. So the caterpillar was leveling up guys. Yes, to a level 10, woohoo. Exactly as expected. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh my gosh, he's so funny. I can't believe he's a 10 now, guys. That was the last time we were going to see his welcome screen, unless DMK eventually, I really seriously hope so, that they put in that welcome screen button so when a character is like maxed out, we should be able to see their welcome screen, especially for those characters that have a costume. I mean, I think every character should be able to just have that button. Like we have a home button, we've got now a button to level up multiple characters at a time, which never was possible until, what was it, update 33, so I mean, I think I think it's about time we get the welcome screen button. I say I say this every now and again and I still feel very passionately about it that it is ridiculous that we don't get to see welcome screens anymore from characters that we've maxed out. And again, too, once we've maxed out that have costumes and then they get a new costume, like Rapunzel, for example, I had her maxed out and yeah, so I never got to see her welcome screen with the comfy costume. So was kind of emo to, about that, to be honest. Yeah, so I think that button really needs to come in because it, it definitely doesn't make getting the costumes as fun when you don't really get to see many animations. And especially too now that the princess dressing room has to be a level three to see certain like actions in the actual dressing room. The d princess dressing room is such a big attraction when you have like a lot of stuff in your kingdom. It doesn't really fit unless you're like really going for animations and stuff like that, which I usually do to be honest. Um, so most of my princesses now can go in the dressing room, uh, most of them. Uh, except, again, now there's a couple that need to wait till it's at the third enchantment to see animation. So that would be Snow White and Rapunzel right now. I either hope they change it or, I don't know, I think they should change it or make it easier to enchant attractions. I just find it really hard to collect all the relics and stuff that you need and blueprints. I feel like this, it's like going to be like a never ending thing with attractions. And to be honest, I don't really like like enchanting attractions is kind of boring. Um, but again, that's my, my opinion on it. They've just made the game, I think too, by adding this way more complex. Like you guys know I do like loads of gameplay walkthroughs for you guys all the time. And I mean, I do love doing it, but now this game has changed from like being you know, more of a, a kid's game to being definitely an adult game. Because there's just so many strategies now that we have to do, right? So I think that, you know, the rating needs to either change on this. Yes, the animations are, you know, 
definitely for everybody. Like, anybody can watch these animations. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just more now, like, the characters require a lot of time to, like, welcome into the kingdom. The events are a lot harder. Like, I don't know any kid, any kid that is going to check their kingdom every two to four hours to make sure they got character tokens. I mean, like, hats off to you if you are a child doing this, but I just feel like the game is way more advanced than it was, um, you know, back, like, even two years ago, or almost two years ago when I started. So I'm, I'm sure that over time things have gotten a lot more difficult and stuff for, for all the players, right? So I don't know. I just... I don't mind if that's what they want to do with these attraction and enchantment stuff. But again, this is not, like, it's, again, way more advanced for, like, it's for 4 plus. Again, it is kid-friendly, the illustrations, but the gameplay and what is required is definitely not. So, I mean, that's, that's my opinion on it. Um, obviously, just because, like, I've been reviewing this game and everything for a long, long time. And, you know, I've seen how it's progressed. It has really progressed into a, an adult game. So if you are an adult or whatever and, you know, it, your child loves this game too, they're going to love it, absolutely. But you have to play together, right? Like, the parent is going to have to do most of the work while the kid just, like, can sit there and tap bubbles for a couple of minutes before they get bored and whatever. So, I mean... You know, I just, I feel like there's a lot more to this game now than, than there ever was. So, yeah, the events are harder to do as well, guys, which means it takes more time to do certain quests and all of that. And um, some of the, the storylines now have taken, like, you know, different turns and stuff. So, I, I don't know. It's, it's interesting how the game has definitely progressed. Very interesting. But, uh, yeah, again, the game is, the game has changed. The game has changed a lot. Like, it, it really started about s almost six months ago, if not longer than that now, probably at the beginning of the year, actually. Things got really crazy with this game, and it's just been a lot harder, at least. But, uh, again, still manageable to do, but, again, you have to be an adult. All right, moving on here to, uh... Uh, the, I'm just showing you guys my progress at least. This was a little bit, I think that was right before bed or earlier today. Earlier today, sorry. Um, yeah, with Ernesto. So Ernesto, yeah, wasn't his progress wasn't great at the beginning, but then I had like a whole bunch of drops just consistently, so that was actually really nice. Um, Miguel and Dante, I need to level up more. But right now, uh, Goofy is the only one collecting for... The ears hats for Dante. It's kind of crazy that there's only really the one character that's going to be doing that for me at least right now. Uh, just because, like, obviously Ernesto needs, like, all the attention. So I will be leveling up Miguel probably in my next video or live stream as well as uh, Dante if I get enough stuff for him. Uh, Ernesto will be the same. So we might see actually in the next video all three character welcome screens which would be really cool guys like I love when I can show a whole bunch of characters welcome screens in a video it's so much fun um and speaking of welcome screens here's Ernesto's he's like remember me ha 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 it is i ernesto de la cruz the greatest musician of all time and my triumphant return tour begins today and who's gonna go watch <laughs> yes yes i know my public is struck dumb by my continued magnificence you may hold your applause quest complete welcome <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, maybe do not hold it too much. Anytime now. Start plotting. <laughs> Sorry, my voice kind of cracked there. Start plotting. Yep. Uh, we'll give you a high five. That's as much clapping as you're going to get from me. All right, so here he is, guys, in the kingdom. He's got some dialogue, which usually happens when you welcome a character into the kingdom. Okay, I admit it. It's occurred to me that the public may not be entirely ready for my return, but it's nothing I can't fix. It's a 
say, or sorry, it's as I sang during my award-winning performance in Nuestra Iglesia, only a song that has the power to change a heart. That and a sustained relentless public relations campaign. That last part was implied. <laughs> Remember him? Question mark? Send Ernesto to turn on the charm. Oh dear. Guys, where's his hat? Where's his hat? Just we confused. Uh if that's charm, that's kinda sad. Wow. For a dead guy, that's like not very charming. Maybe to Timon. But I still think he's distracted by bugs. <laughs> yeah, but where is his hat? He's got a hat in his images. Where is his hat? I don't get it. All right. Well, anyways, we're going to have to wait for this dialogue, guys, for the next video. So that's going to be four hours, just so you know. Now, in the news here, daily free chess. Hiya, Kingdomers. There's something wrong with our da new daily free chess, and we've had to temporarily disable this feature. While we look into this issue, we will be sending out the daily free chess as a gift. So make sure to play online daily to get your free bronze chest. So in other words, online being please make sure you have Wi-Fi or you have, you know, connection. Yeah, cell phone connection. Like LTD, 3G, whatever you guys are on. Um, yeah, make sure you are connected because otherwise you will not get it. Or your calendar. So yeah, please make sure that you at least have Wi-Fi once a day. Um, now, in terms of Ernesto de la Cruz to level him up, um, yeah, so we, we got a little bit of work to do here. Currency I'm doing okay with. The only thing I might be getting a little bit concerned about, maybe, is how much the first attraction is going to cost. If you guys already know, let me know in the comment section below how much it is going to cost. Because if it is 5,000 currency, I'm not quite ready for that. I'm not. I'm not. Because if I spend 300 to level him up and a couple, like, obviously, 100 more for Dante and Miguel, yeah, it's going to take it all. Not good. Not good. We need the currency, guys. Seriously need the currency. Um, yeah, I might need to put in a little bit more time and effort into that and send my characters on shorter quests in order to actually be able to collect it. Now, the thing is, is I've been sending my characters on a little bit longer of quests, either because, you know, they've been collecting character tokens or I've just been busy with life stuff. I mean, I've been checking my kingdom probably every, like, four hours, but uh, I haven't been sort of setting the alarms for every two. I mean, maybe I should for the piñatas and stuff, and I might do that, like you know, tomorrow or something since it's Sunday and that'll kind of work out for me. But until then, no, like I just, you know, life happens and I'm still playing the game a lot, but you know, when I've got streams to do and stuff, I can't really check my device while I'm doing another game. So it's like, it's my job, right? Like I got to do my other, other things and I can't be just be like, oh yeah, sorry guys, checking DMK, uh, just wait for me. <laughs> You know, you need like five or ten minutes every time you check your kingdom at least to send your characters out, if not more. Like, I find now it can take me like 15, 20 minutes to do a round of stuff. So, yeah, it's, it, t it takes a while, guys. No kid has patience for that. Trust me. Um, welcome, Ernesto. So we have done that. So the next step is to build the Santa Cecilia Market Shop. Then it will be to welcome Mama Imelda. Now the thing is, for Mama Imelda, we do have to wait a couple of days, guys. Um, I will be doing a live stream when she uh, becomes released to us. Now the only thing is, guys, is um, I don't know if the live chat is going to work. It's really up in the air, unfortunately, if it is going to be working for the next one. I was going to actually be streaming today to welcome Ernesto. But the live chat isn't working on my live streams. And I know you guys love to interact and stuff. So I decided just to put it in the video here so you guys can just, you know, interact by, you know, commenting in the comment section. So we'll have to see what happens, guys. Um, yeah, some of my channels are working. Some are not uh, with the live streaming feature. So I'm not sure what is going on with uh, YouTube and the changes. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they think that uh, I'm a, a kid's channel, but I'm not real. Like, I maybe was when I first started this game, but now that the game's changed, my gameplay walkthroughs are, like, you know, complex and sophisticated, and unfortunately, you know, if I get put on YouTube Kids, it's not really, like, it's not bad for kids to watch, but it's not good because they're not going to understand half of what's going on with the complexity of my kingdom, at least right now. Like, when you have a baby kingdom, sure, it's not that difficult, but as features get unlocked throughout it, it does become very complex. So, I don't know if that is sort of what's going on, guys. Um, I think that whatever process that YouTube is doing, uh, yeah, it's gonna maybe affect some channels for a while. I'm hoping it doesn't mean that we have to come up with another way to live stream and communicate. Like, because I know we're a big community as well, and we love to talk about DMK and progress and all that kind of stuff. And I know yesterday, a lot of you guys went through like withdrawal and stuff, and I did too during my stream. I was like, wow, this is not the same. It was weird. Um, so, I don't know. Considering this game is, like, we again, like, really community-based and stuff, I hope that the live chat comes back. And it's been, like, over 24 hours now since it hasn't been working. So, I don't know what's going to happen, guys. Otherwise, we might have to, to stick with videos and stuff on YouTube. And then, if we're going to stream and chat and all that stuff with the kingdoms, maybe it's Twitch. Yeah, I know, like, it's up in the air, guys, right now. I'm testing Twitch out on my uh, definitely adult-friendly channel. Um, if you guys want to check out my other channels, though, that I'm involved in, I've got now a couple. Um, obviously, Swirly Pops, that's, you know, more kid-friendly for sure. But, um, yeah, I don't I don't even know what's going on, with going to happen with that one either because it's got some content on there that is definitely, like, 12 plus or like higher and then there is some other stuff on there that is you know like three plus or four plus so I don't know uh, all of the channels are a bit up in the air right now uh the one though that's for sure is the new kitty cat one uh that one is actually call of duty so call of duty is going to be uh played on that and the live streaming chat definitely works on that it also still works guys on potter girl so i'll be doing a live stream for that tonight um i'm literally just combining the kind of remaining clips sort of together for the uh, new halloween update and yes we have a limited time event right now with werewolves that we are dealing with so um i will be streaming on that tonight so make sure if you guys aren't subscribed to that channel head over there and subscribe and of course hit that bell for post notifications so you guys know when i'm going to be going live now as for dmk here um obviously i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry for the little talk about uh you know, the other channels and stuff at the end, but I want to let you guys know that I am here to stay regardless of what happens. Um, it's just going to be where you're going to have to figure out another way to communicate. Yeah. So I will keep you guys posted, obviously, on all of those sort of changes. But for now, there are still ways to communicate with me live on my other channels. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this video, please give it a big Mickey thumbs up. And I will see you guys for the next either DMK video or live stream. Bye.